Welcome back aliens, my name is Arun Reddy and let's continue with the series on JavaScript. Okay, so we have talked about functions, right? And then what we do is we create a function and then we pass values as well. And then we try different examples using it. So the last example was a factorial, right? Where we have a function and then we pass a value to it. Okay, so basically when you create a function, you can pass values, important stuff, right? Now with that thought, let me create another function here, which will let's say add multiple values. Okay, so let me create a simple function and we can name this function as sum. Or maybe it doesn't matter what the function name is. And in this, I want to pass multiple values where I want to add. Maybe initially I will say, let's go with two values, A and B. And when you get these two values in your function, just simply add them and return the value. Simple stuff, right? So I will say return A plus B. Of course, you can create a different variable and you can add the value, but let's go with this one. Now, once you got your function ready, it's time to call that function and we'll save this data in result, right? So whatever return value it is, it will be getting stored inside a result variable. Okay, uh, so how do we do that? So we can simply call this function sum by passing two values, four and five. That's it. So when you call this function sum by passing four and five, so what will happen is this value four will be assigned to A and this value five will be assigned to B. Simple stuff, right? And then those two values get added here. You will get the result as nine, which will be assigned to result. And then at the end, we can simply print the value of a result to see what is happening. So let's run this and let's see the output. And that is working. You can see we got nine. Okay, now my point is we have two variables here, right? Which are accepting the values. And also we are sending two values. So this makes sense, but what if what if you are defining this function by accepting two values, right? And then you want to add, let's say three values, four, five, six, maybe one more, let's say two. So in this case, we have four values, right? Four, five, six, and two. Will this work? Uh, okay, so if you're coming from different languages like C, C++, Java, this, is, this should give you an error, right? Because in Java, we have a different concept, which is method overloading, where you can create two different methods two different methods of sum. So one sum method will be or function, you can say. So one sum function will be ha accepting two values and the other sum function will be accepting four values. But in this case, will this work? Let's try. So if you try this example here, oh, it's still working. There is no error. And you got the output as well, which is nine. Now you might be thinking maybe that's the value has been cached and that's why you not got the error. Let's change the value to see, it is, is it reflecting? And you can see we got seven. So it is working, right? Uh, now, how exactly is working? So what happens is JavaScript is flexible here. JavaScript says, okay, you're calling a function, but you are only accepting two. That's completely fine. The first two values here will be assigned to this, okay? Uh, so that's how we can solve that. In fact, uh, if you really want to use all the four values, there's one way. Don't pass any values. Oh, but then if you don't pass a value, how would we know the value of A and B? You can see we got an error. Okay, uh, so it says A not defined. So we cannot use A and B now, right? So there are two ways of solving this. Uh, if you see the title, those are two things, okay? So the first one is arguments, which is the older way of doing it. Uh, but we'll see the next one as well, which is rest parameters. But as of now, let's focus on the arguments. Uh, okay, so the argument is a inbuilt keyword or the inbuilt stuff inside JavaScript. So what you can do is whatever value you're passing here, the four values are getting assigned here, which is not, which you cannot see, right? The brackets are empty, but it's there, it's there. And the name of those is argument with different parameters, with different indexes. Example, let's say if you want to use the, so it's arguments. If you want to use the first parameter, you can use it as an array. Uh, it's not exactly an array, but you can use it as, as an array. And you can specify the index value. So you can say zero. So it will pick up the first value, which is four. And then you can pick up the next value, which is let's say arguments. And you can say maybe one and then argument. In fact, we'll do it only for three because we don't have enough space on the screen, right? Uh, otherwise it will just go at the end. Let's pass three values. In fact, let's pass four values and let's see what happens. So even if you pass four values, it should work, but it will it will only accept the first three values, right? So if you, if you can see, it says four plus three, which is seven, plus six, which is 13. And that's what we got here, right? This is one way. 
But the only problem is this is our old way of doing it. The new way is with the help of rest parameters. Okay, now the twist here is uh, when you talk about these arguments, they are not arrays, right? So I want to accept the remaining values. So let's say I want to accept two values, which is four and three, and all the remaining values will be part of, we can say th they are the rest values, rest of the values, right? How we can do that? So let me just remove this statement. I don't want to go for arguments. I want to go for A plus B and, oh, not blur, A plus B. And here I want to accept those two values, A and B. But then if you can say we are also passing the other values, which is 6 and 2 in this case. So what we can do is we can give a comma and we can say, okay, uh, see, as a function, and if you say sum, normally I add only two values, okay? But if you want to pass more values, you can do that. You can pass extra one value, zero values, thousand values, one million values. Oh, I'm not sure if that will be supported. But you can pass good number of values here. Okay, uh, how do we accept that? Maybe I can say accept all the other values in this variable, which is args. So if you want to do that, you can simply use three dots here and you can specify, hey, this arguments here is not a single variable. It will be an array and it will accept all the remaining values. So you can say dot 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 args. Now this is something similar to what you have in Java, which is where args, right? I'm not sure if we have that other, in other language as well. I think there is something in other languages. But anyway, uh, if you know something like this in some other languages, let me know in the comment section what it is called. In Java, it is called WebArgs or the variable length arguments. But here, the 6 and 2 will be part of the arguments variable here. Okay, now your question would be, how do we use it? How do we find the sum of all the values? So let's pass some more values. So it is 4 plus 3, 7, uh, 13, 13 plus 2, 15, 20. So the output, the value of this addition should be 20. And the way you can achieve that is by uh, defining a variable here where it's a num. Num is equal to a plus b, right? So we got this two addition here and then we can return num. But then we also want to add all the values from the arguments, right? So in this case, we can use uh, a loop. So we can say for let n of num, it will fetch one by one value. And whatever value you got from that, you can simply add Oh, not num, all from args. So whatever value you got, you can say num is equal to num plus args. Or not args, num plus n. Now n is a value which is getting picked from the arguments one by one, right? And I think this should work. So what will happen is it will add the first values, but then for the remaining values, it will simply run a loop and it will fetch the value, add, fetch the value, add, fetch the value, add. And that's what it is doing. And if you run this code, you can see we got 20. So that's how we can use the rest parameters. So this is arguments and rest parameters. Now I hope you got some idea about this. Uh, yeah, that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me in the comment section and do subscribe for the videos. Bye bye.